What's good YouTube, Jermaine here, welcome back to another video. This video is all about social media managers, where to find them, how to hire them, how to pay them, and just all sorts about social media managers that you need at your agency to help scale your social platforms for your creators as an OnlyFans agency. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first things first, this is a very, very broad topic. I can feel like I can talk about this for like an hour. I'm just gonna try and keep it as concise and as value-based as possible for you guys on here. I've seen a bunch of you guys ask a bunch of questions on my other videos about this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it. So first thing first, social media managers. Why are they important? As an agency, you cannot do everything yourself, right? As an agency, you need to employ experts in their own specific fields, their own specific platforms to essentially execute on the work, right? However, I do feel it is important for you first to be able to execute on what you're hiring first before you then hire for it. Because you then essentially aren't going to know the KPIs, you're not gonna go with day-to-day -day tasks, you're not gonna know like the mechanics of each platform itself to be able to monitor someone's progression as a employee, right? So I do recommend you guys go ahead, test all the platforms your first self, whatever platform you get the best results from, personally, you as an agency owner, then go ahead and hire and delegate for that. That is the best advice I could give you based off building not only my own Astro agency, but in the market as well, my e-commerce paid ads agency, right? Everything that I hire for first, I did myself, I then uh, delegated to a team member. So with that being said, social media managers, you can find social media managers anywhere in the world. I'm based in London, UK. If I was to hire social media managers in London, UK, I'd be paying them a fat salary plus compensation, plus holidays, sick pay, fucking all of that shit, right? Which you don't really need to do as, an, as a freelance agency. You don't need to do that. It's one of the beautiful things about our world, right? As a boutique agency, sorry, I should say. So that's one thing. I hire, or I always typically hire outside the UK because we get a list of benefits and you find talent that are just as talented as people in the UK, but due to the economical situation in their country, they um you can afford to pay them a lot less for us, right? It sounds very bad, but it's not slave labor or anything like that. We can pay someone in the Philippines, for example, three to five dollars an hour, which in the UK and London sounds absolutely observed, but that's more than the average wage in the Philippines itself. So we're actually paying them more than they'd receive in a job in the Philippines. And it's probably a much nicer of a job, to be honest with you guys, right? So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and that's why I hire outside the UK. So best places that I hire, um, to give you guys a bit of source, um, social media managers, Philippines work really well. I hire in either Serbia, Tunisia, um, Algeria, I also have hired in um, Argentina, Peru, Brazil even. These countries are all low economic based um, governments or countries or economics or whatever you want to call it. So that means we can afford to pay them a lot less, but it means they're getting paid a lot more opposed to their own situation in their own respective country. So it's a win-win <laughs> at the end of the day, right? And these guys are just as talented. Their English is pretty much perfect. Um, and that's why it works really well to hire them as social media managers. Now, how you delegate that onto your platforms is, is there's a lot, again, it's a whole nother conversation, guys, right? But the way that I delegate it for my agency is, as you will see on a few videos I've posted a few a few weeks ago, like I have specific clusters in the agency, right? So I have myself at the very top as the um, as the owner of the agency. Okay, I'm the sole owner. I have no partners. 100% profits go to me. And then I have the models at the bottom, right? Let's say the models at the bottom of the cluster itself, right? I then have a social media manager for for TikTok, let's say, right? For my TikTok social media manager that I've hired, they will then repurpose the content for each um, TikTok account. Okay, and it's a little bit, it's changed a little bit over the last few weeks or due to the way the TikTok algorithm has, has progressed. But um, let's just say TikTok slash Clapper, they still 100% do this for Clapper. They repurpose the content for the main TikTok account to the Clapper accounts, okay, that we create the sub accounts. That is my TikTok manager there as that cluster. I then have a Reddit manager here, okay? This Reddit manager is only responsible for Reddit. So as you guys will notice, I don't have a social media manager that covers all platforms. I'm more of a fan of hiring someone that's specific in the one platform, specific in the one task, and has got the most experience and knowledge in the one platform, the one area that they focus their, their energy on over the last few years, and then they just just dedicate that to my agency okay so the reddit manager would specifically just work on the reddit platform for our models and generating klarna generating reddit and posting a multiple subreddits for our models and that generates a great amount of um, subscribers every single day on the reddit front i will then hire someone specifically for twitter again someone that's devoured their life in twitter for the last few years okay and it's got experience and results on twitter i will then have that social media manager okay let's say 
on Twitter, okay? And they will then, again, focus on generating traffic from Twitter. And then I'll then have someone for dating apps, okay? The mic's in the way. Dating apps is all the way over here, okay? Dating apps, someone that's just mainly worked on like as a software engineer, as a data expert, as a data analytical expert, someone that's got experience in all that stuff, side of things, okay? And bypassing apps, because it's black hat marketing at the end of the day. That dating app manager just focuses on building traffic for the dating apps, okay? And again, my models are at the bottom. All these platforms are generating, okay? This looks a bit weird, but generate traffic flow to the models only fans account itself and all of my models are on paid accounts i don't have any free accounts on my on my shit and they're all paid accounts okay and that's generating the traffic flow to all these models at the bottom and that's what's going to turn into subscribers okay so hopefully that makes sense guys i don't know how better i can explain it like each cluster has their own social media manager let's say for each platform i then pay them um just through wise okay they send me an invoice um, and i just pay them on a, a monthly retainer every single month i do also give bonuses key little source for you guys. I give bonuses to my um, social media managers if they hit a certain KPI every single day with new subscribers coming from their specific platform. I can track this because we have tracking links on all our platforms so I can see which um, social media channels producing the best or what day or given time. Yes, it is a bit off sometimes, it's not 100% accurate, but it's about 80% accurate. So it gives us a good understanding. And I'll just give a little bonus at the end of the month for um, whoever generates the most subs from their specific platform. Again, creating that competitive, environment to better results for our clients for our models at the end of the day so yeah that is um that is the source really guys on social media managers and how i hire them the step for hiring like i would find them on fiverr upwork people by hour i find a lot on reddit also where else do i find them i find them just from my organic personal brand i get a lot of people reach out to me every single day offering to work so i do hire that way also um if you don't have a personal brand then like fiverr reddit upwork people by hour, um, Craigslist, and uh, Reddit, like Reddit, there's loads of subreddits that you can post in to find people remote work. And so, yeah, that's where I'd find and hire a lot of my um, staff from. So hopefully that makes sense, guys. And um, yeah, I will not go into the exact details on pain, but like as an average, I'll pay anywhere between three to $5 an hour is what like a salary would be on average plus bonuses, all right? So hopefully you guys are getting some source on this. Go ahead, hit that like, subscribe button if you enjoyed this type of content, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.